Hey everyone, it's Sean from Empire Drone. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming DJI Agress T10 platform. As one of North America's largest Agress distributors, we have some pretty cool insight on this game-changing platform. Let's take a look. First things first, let's do an update on the current DJI Agress drones available on the market. The MG1P is no more. One of DJI's first, most popular spraying drones is no longer being produced because it was succeeded by the DJI Agris T16, which brought a sea change of improvements to the Agris platform. Most notably, the top-loaded battery and spray tank with the ability to quickly convert from spraying to spreading modes. And guess what? The T16 is no longer being produced. It has been fully replaced by the even more capable DJI Agris T20 bigger tank and way better radar with a whole new smart controller. A side note, this isn't to say the MG1P and the T16 are no longer supported. We have a serious stockpile of parts and pieces to keep you running for a while if you need to make any repairs. The T20 with its 20 liter tank will soon welcome a new drone to the Agress line, the T10. With its smaller 8 liter tank, the T10 acts as a direct descendant to the 10 liter MG1P. The US version of the T10 will actually come with an 8 liter tank instead of a 10 liter tank. This 8 liter tank, when filled with liquid, will keep the T10 under the 55 pound weight limit. Any unmanned aircraft weighing more than 55 pounds requires a special exemption from the FAA to operate. Up until now, operators of the T16 and the T20 needed to acquire one of these exemptions to operate their drone at full capacity. The under 55 pound T10 provides another route to our customers who do not want to acquire the over 55 pound exemption. So long story short, you can get an eight liter tank with the T10 with the option to buy a 10 liter tank if you want. Now onto the fun stuff, the upgraded features. The T10 will have a front and rear facing FPV camera so you can see where you are headed and where you have sprayed. Like the T20, it will have a super bright LED light for low light work. It will also have an upgraded spherical radar system to detect obstacles in 360 degrees and have the ability to perform intelligent detours and autonomous terrain adaption, meaning it will be able to automatically find a path around and over unplanned obstacles. The T10 will sport four sprayers with a maximum flow rate of 2.5 liters a minute and will have a spray width of up to 16 feet. With these specs, the T10 can cover about 16 acres per hour. The T10 can also be converted into a spreader. With an additional spreading tank, the T10 can spread about 14 acres an hour with a 23-foot spreading width. The T10 will feature real-time weight monitoring so you receive an accurate low tank alarm for efficient spreading operations. The batteries and charging system get a major upgrade as well. Batteries will be rated for 1,000 ultra-long cycles and the 3600 watt charger will supposedly charge one battery in seven minutes. We are very excited to see this in action. After a day of spraying, the entire system is washable with its IP67 rating for easy maintenance. Needless to say, we are very excited about the upcoming T10. With its less than 55 pound weight and upgraded features, we think many people will find a use for this drone. While we don't have solid numbers yet, it's safe to assume the T10 will be a very reasonably priced system, making this technology even more accessible to people interested in starting an agriculture drone operation. Mass production of the T10 is starting very soon, and Empire Drone will have a demo unit to show you very shortly, so stay tuned. As always, feel free to reach out to us anytime with questions, and thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our website and subscribe to our social media in the links below. We'll see you next time.